multi-cam editing can feel overwhelming. But what if I told you there was a tool here in DaVinci Resolve 20 that allows you to get that job done a whole lot quicker and with a lot less stress? Sounds pretty good, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. The new multi-cam smart switch tool here in DaVinci Resolve 20. It is a studio only version, but if you only have the free version, you wanna watch this so you know how it all works in case you decide to upgrade a studio one day. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be switching multi-cam angles like a pro. So let's just jump in Resolve and I'm gonna show you how this smart cut tool works here. And you're gonna be off and running, making multi-cam videos in no time. In DaVinci Resolve here, in order to start working with the multi-cam smart switch, we first need a multi-cam clip. So here's how we're gonna create that. In my media pool here, I've got three different clips. I've got a wide shot, a tight shot, and an iPhone shot. So I'm just gonna window over these, select them. I'm gonna right click and say, create new multicam clip using selected clips. That's gonna bring up this window for us. We can name the multicam clip whatever we want. So let's just call it multicam clip. Start time code, you can adjust that if you want. I'm gonna leave it at its default. Frame rate, it should match the clips that are in your timeline automatically, but if it doesn't, you can change that. I like to sync it by sound because most of the time I don't have time code or anything like that. You can do it with in and out points, but I'm gonna use sound. The next one channel right here is if you want to select a certain channel to use to sync up your audio. In this case, I'm gonna use automatic. For multicam audio, if we click on this drop down, if you had a reference angle that you wanted to use to sync everything else up to, you can select that, or you could just leave it on the default setting there. Angle name, generally I just leave that on sequential. And then you can look at these other options and decide if you want to check those on or not. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. Once we've done that, we actually have our multicam clip, which is right here. So I want to create a new timeline with this multicam clip. I'm going to right click on the clip, create new timeline using selected clips. You can call it whatever you want. Go ahead and click create. So now I've got my multicam clip right here in my timeline. And if I take a look at it, here we are with a multicam sample clip. I've got camera. Okay, it's got the iPhone angle there by default. If you wanted to change your default angle, you can do that by just selecting it, right click and switch multicam angle. And you can select whatever you want. So let's say I'm just gonna put the wide shot there on as my default angle. So now we wanna use the multicam smart switch feature. So all you have to do is select your clip. You're gonna right click and come to multicam smart switch right here. So this window will pop up for you and it's gonna give us some options on how we can set up our smart switch. So just running over this window real quick, angle switching, the minimum edit duration. So this is how long do you want one cut to stay where it is? In this case, it's set at one second. Let's say maybe I want it to be two seconds. So regardless of what the tool, as it runs and creates the cuts, it won't make anything less than two seconds. So you can set that to whatever you want. The next option here, the edit change delay, is how long will it be delayed before someone else starts speaking? So if you've got a podcast, you got two people speaking, how long is it gonna stay on a particular shot before it changes and cuts to another angle? So you can see by default, it's set to 0.3 seconds here. So that's fine, I'm gonna leave that where it's at for now. So the wide angle setup here, this is gonna be used so that the uh, AI and the smart switch can use a wide angle shot to cover spaces where people might be talking over each other or talking at the same time. It's gonna look at the video, it's gonna look at the audio, and it's gonna say, oh, hey, we got two people overlapping and talking, let's just go with the wide shot so we can see both people in the shot. In my case, it's only me, but if you're setting this up for something like a podcast or an interview or something like that, where you have multiple people on a wide angle shot, you can use these options in here to dictate how that's gonna react for the smart switch. So you can choose automatically detect wide angles and the smart switch is gonna decide what makes the most sense or when it makes the most sense to use that wide angle to cover up people talking at the same time. Now, if you know what the wide angle is, you can uncheck the automatic one and select your angle right there and use that. In this case, I'm gonna try it with the automatic detection. The wide angle frequency. So how often is it gonna to cut to the wide angle? You could do it low, which is like a little bit, high, which is a lot. You decide what you want it to do. We've also got options to use the wide angle for the intro and outro and use wide angle for silence. So if there's you know some space, maybe you're doing something or showing something, when there's that silence, you don't want the tight shot on your head, right? You're gonna want the wide angle so we can see what you're doing down on your desk or whatever. So I'm actually gonna uncheck use wide angle for intro and outro, because I know I was talking to that camera, the tight camera, while I was doing my intro there. 
And then you've got smart switch set up here. You can choose your quality. Do you want to do it faster? Do you want to do it better? Do you want to use audio only for analysis? Because the way this tool works is it actually looks at the video, looks at people's mouths moving, and also combines that with the analysis of the audio. And that's how it kind of decides on when to make cuts and when to switch angles. So it depends on your situation. If you only want to use the audio, perfectly fine. In this case, I'm going to allow it to do its thing and um, use both the video and the audio. So once we've got all our settings where we want it, I'm just going to go ahead and click analyze. Now, depending on how long your video is, it may take some time to do this. It is AI stuff. So the stronger your computer, the more power you got, the quicker these kind of things are going to work. For me, this is a 30 second clip and it looks like it's going to take maybe a minute or two. Although I did try it with a longer clip and it was going to take like 20 minutes. So I kind of canceled that and came up with a smaller example. So it just depends on how much you want to do. If you have a whole podcast, maybe you just set it, let it run, walk away, grab yourself a coffee or something, and then come back when it's all finished. So once you've gone ahead and run the Multicam Smart Switch tool, if you have two people or multiple people in your multicam video, it's going to work better. For me, in my case, because it's just me, I actually changed my voice tone a little bit just to kind of help it make some cuts on just me as an individual. So here's what it looks like once it does a cut. And if you have multiple people, it should cut to the person that's talking when they're talking and go to a wide angle shot when uh, you have multiple people talking at a time. So here's what it looks like. Here we are with a multicam sample clip. I've got camera one right there. I've got a wide camera two right there. And I'm holding camera three, my phone right over here. You can have as many angles as you want. This is gonna work out pretty good for you. So we wanna show you how this smart cut tool works here in DaVinci Resolve. A reminder, it's only studio. But if you don't have studio, you wanna watch this anyway because you wanna know how to use it in case you ever upgrade. All right, let's jump into Resolve. So there you go. You can see it changed the angles, right? Based on the voice. Now I did just kinda you know, create my own little multi-voice thing there just so it could have a better, you know, way to look at what it's cutting up. But if you have multiple people, it's going to be able to recognize the different voices. It's going to look at the video and see who's talking, whose mouth is moving when, and it's really going to do a pretty good job at, for you at making that first pass of cutting everything up for you. Now, what if you wanted to change an angle? Maybe it didn't get something right. Maybe you got the wrong angle somewhere. You can adjust that too. So in your timeline, all you have to do is come to the clip you want to change. And if you want to change both the audio and the video angle, you can just select your clip, right click, switch multicam angle and choose whatever angle you want. If you only want to change, say, the video, but not the audio or the audio and not the video, the way to do that is just use your option or alt key and select your clip. So you're only selecting either the video or the audio. You only want to select one of them. And then in that case, we can change the angle for that clip that's highlighted. So in this case, let's actually do the audio clip. I'm going to select our clip because right now we can see there's no audio there. I'm going to right click, come down to switch multicam angle. I'm going to choose angle one there. And now we've got our close tight shot, but we have our audio from the phone shot. Check it out. Yeah, how this smart cut tool works here in DaVinci Resolve, a reminder, it's only studio, but... So you can see how we can change just the video or just the audio angle if we need to. Now, in most cases, like I said, this is going to work the best if you have multiple people in your multicam scene. If you just have one person like me, it probably isn't going to work great if your voice is the same all the way throughout. This, I just chopped it up and changed the, the pitch of my voice a little bit to help it see some differences there. And it will come out a lot smoother than what mine is. It's because I kind of chopped it up and, and chopped it together for you there. But the real magic is how it switches angles, looks at the audio and the video, who's speaking and does all that switching automatically for you. It does a good first pass and then you got to go through, check it out. And if you need to make any changes or adjustments, you can do that very easily with no problem. Keep in mind that this multicam smart switch tool is only available in studio. Okay, I want to make that clear. It's only in studio, uh, but you can create multicam clips right in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you have any questions, comments, I'm happy to help you guys out more. My name is Jason. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.